Hi, the topic of this week's blog are hybrids. Yesterday I did about a 45 minute interview with Ann Ligori of WFAN New York, the New York Yankees flagship radio station. Ann does a lot of uh, work for in the golf field, she also does tennis, she goes all over the world covering sports events for WFAN, and she's a longtime friend. We got into the interview, started it off, her first question was, Jesse, why should golfers use hybrids? And at first, it kind of, the answer, the, the question kind of froze me because I think everyone knows that you're better off using hybrids than long irons. The question isn't really, why should people be playing hybrids? Because I think everyone already knows that. The real question is, how many hybrids should I carry? What lofts should I have? And how should I use them? And what I believe is that if you are a single digit golfer, you probably have one hybrid, maybe two in the bag, but for sure you've got one. You've gotten rid of that one and two iron, or you've probably gotten rid of that five wood. But if you're a, a double digit handicap player, you've got to have at least two hybrids. In fact, I'd say if you're between a 10 and about a 12 or 13 handicap, you should have two in there. Probably something like about a 20, maybe a 24 or 25. If you are a 15 handicap or higher, you should be carrying three hybrids. And if you're over 20, which is a little bit more than a bo bogey golfer, you should have four hybrids in the bag. Let me explain why. A lot of average golfers try to create miracle shots out of the rough with their hybrids. Sure, they're a lot more versatile than, uh, than a long iron, but if you don't have enough loft on that hybrid, it's still very tough to get the ball out of even medium to light rough. I recommend a 25 degree hybrid to get out of most of the rough conditions that you'll find on the golf course. Don't try to be a hero. Don't get your 20 or 22 degree hybrid and try to hack it out of the rough. That's not enough loft. Yeah, you may get lucky and catch it and you hit it 185 out, out of the rough, got a great shot. But that's going to be very, very rare. When you get into conditions like that, just accept a great 140 or 50 yard shot out of the rough, down the middle of the fairway, and then hit a wedge or maybe a nine iron to the green, still have a chance to save par or walk away with just a bogey. Remember, if you don't have enough loft to get out of the rough, you're just looking for trouble and you're looking for, it, for at least a double bogey or more. That's why if you're an average golfer, someone who's a 15 handicap or higher, get a 25 degree, get a 30 degree, not only for the rough and accept the distance that it gives you out of that condition, but use it in place of a four iron and a five iron. Don't be a hero. Accept the fact that the longer irons are tougher to hit. If you're a 20 handicapper, you probably should be starting your iron set at a six or a seven iron. If you do, you're going to improve. You're going to shoot lower scores. Because even when you miss hit those high lofted hybrids, they'll land soft near the green. Close to the green where you can chip, maybe save par, at the worst walk away with the bogey. You get in trouble. If you're a bogey golfer, you get in trouble when you start getting those sixes and sevens and eights on the scorecard. So next time, evaluate your game. Take a look at where you're hurting and take a look at getting some higher lofted hybrids. Yeah, it's all right to have an 18 or a 20 if you're a better player, but if you're an average golfer, you really should be starting at around 21 or 22. Look at that 25, look at that 30, and even consider a 35 degree hybrid that'll get you out of all kinds of trouble. It'll be easier to hit than those irons, and then start your iron set from seven iron down. I think you'll see a lot of improvement in your game. Play well, play often, and remember, have fun.